This is one of the lessons we will do on the Roaring Twenties. We'd have the students watch this video and write one sentence about it. Another informational slides, assembly line, towards Model T. And now I'd ask the students to move this vertically, it does not move up or down, but move the shape to reveal the answer. We would also be able to use the eraser here to erase beside the smaller triangle to find out who the singer is, the holiday. And informational slides and consumer products. Here I'd want the students to organize, group these terms together and put them under the right category. So we have innovations, more pay. Group these, group them together, and move them under the correct category. These are the categories that do not move. Here's some image sorting. I want the students to, these are the categories. I want the students to put the 1920s innovations on one side and the modern inventions on the other. Informational slides. I already have the screen that we would pull down. First read these two definitions and we can go down further and see the rest. Read the questions and touch the shape area to reveal the answer. So we would read those questions, find out what the answer is. Informational slides on the radio. Here I'd have the students pick out a shape and, and drag and drop it into the heart. And we can click on this and drop it into the true statements only. Here we have Game, activity, monster quiz, informational slides on the consumer society, more consumer society. Move the term vertically or up and down to match the proper definition. So I'd ask the students to move the terms, these can only move up or down to match the proper definitions. And here we can see if they would have completed that would be down here. Henry Ford, this is Henry Ford, Edwin Armstrong, and then KDKA Radio. Little images for them to look at. We have more informational slides. So we have games, we have flashcards with definitions behind them. Here we have, but I wanted to put just into full screen, is our concept mapping. I need to see Henry Ford's contributions. You know, it asks the students to use the infinite phone with the true and false down here. They would have one and a half minutes to do this, which is more than enough time. We will put the true to the true statements and to the false into the false statements. We might need a few minutes to do that, but here we can click on the URL and it will give us the brief history of the radio. Radio. more informational slides on the economy and market. And here we have an activity. We can reset the activity.
get ready to start. Starting activity. Now students could answer through their mobile devices and answer these questions. Then we have the game. is where I would ask the students to stop for a minute, use their shape recognition pen, and want them to just draw a rectangle around flappers. We haven't begun to really talk about flappers much yet. And then I would like them to use the magic pen and trace around this rectangle to see what happens to the word flapper. We're going to zoom in on flappers because we're going to take a minute to also study the flappers and how they looked, what they wore, the way they dressed. So for that, we can use the spotlight to focus in on the style of their hair, their dresses, the way they all had short hair, the way their dresses were. And we can also click on the picture to read more about flappers. And now we can use our transparent background to see many more pictures of flappers and the way they dressed, some in color, some not in color. And we have a shout out game that we can start. Students can use their mobile devices to shout out the answer with more pay. And for more info, they can click on the star to take them to chapter five, the 1920s in the CK 12. And we can also use the timer to see how many sentences that they would have to write. And I would tell the students that they are done after that. <laughs> 